Happy Monday and welcome to Mondays with Meg. I am so excited to be sharing with all of you this morning um, all about what to do when jealousy strikes. And we're just going to be real about this today because the fact of the matter is literally all of us struggle with this at some point or another, sometimes daily, sometimes all day long, but it's something that we have to be super intentional about to have it not completely derail our lives. I mean, to be real, right? So um, what uh, you guys know me well enough by now to know that I'm going to be real with you, right? And one thing that I want to start off our talk today about jealousy with is the fact that seriously, living in jealousy is a complete waste of time. Okay, do you need me to say that again? Living in jealousy is a complete waste of time. Please, please, please hear me. It is not worth your time to do this. But it's something we also come to, okay, at some point or another. And what I know about it is that it absolutely does not help you get what you want by any means. It doesn't help you become stronger or smarter or more successful or happier or any of these good things that we actually at our core want to be, right? But what it does is it keeps you stuck. And it keeps you from living in, I mean, it keeps you living in this place of negativity, this place where it's almost impossible to get to be where you want to be. So that's why I think it's just super important for us to talk about it today. I had several people actually write into me asking me to talk about this subject. So thank you for being on this journey with me this morning. And at any point, if you have questions, if what I'm saying resonates with you, chime on in, give me some heart, something, let me know what you think. So like I just said, living in jealousy, all it does is keep you stuck in this place of negativity. And that's just not helpful. I want you to hear me with that. It is just not helpful. And I don't know about you, but I like spending my energy and my time on things that are helpful. So the simple truth of it, of of jealousy keeping you stuck in a place of negativity honestly should be enough to help you shift your focus onto something more productive. But I know that it's really not that easy in life. I don't even want to pretend that it is. So um, when jealousy is just boiling inside you, what I know is it can be super hard to focus on anything else, regardless of how useless you know that it is. So all that to say, today I have some really great tips for you that um, to really help you when jealousy strikes, because it's going to happen, even if you're not dealing with it right now today, right? It's going to happen. So the first thing that I want to share with you is to, um, you know, it can help to actually force yourself to celebrate the other person's accomplishments, maybe the person who you're jealous of, or you might be feeling jealous of something about them or their life in that moment, you might need to force yourself to um, to celebrate whatever it is that you're feeling jealous about. And please do it. Your feelings will catch up. I promise you. Okay. It might be hard at first, but I feel like this is super necessary with overcoming jealousy. Maybe on social media, maybe you see your friend, um, you know, does something great or something. And um, you might even like pretend not to notice or that you didn't even see their post or whatever, because, um, because you're feeling jealous. But I got to be honest, like, um, I would love it if you could force yourself out of that and, and really just be happy for them. Tell them you're happy for them. Tell them um, how wonderful you think it is that this thing has, has happened to them, because that is going to help you change your feelings. OK, I promise you it works every time. OK, so um, because what I know is that when you don't, when you're just sitting in this yuck and um, and all these awful feelings, that's going to keep you stuck right there. It's almost impossible to be propelled forward until you start acting forward. OK, that's how your feelings catch up. So when you're thinking positive and happy thoughts, about this other person, about yourself, you really are putting yourself like in this energetic 
state to feel more at ease and in tune with your anti-jealous side, okay? Things like gratitude and optimism, um, appreciation, enthusiasm, all these emotions come from celebrating other people's accomplishments. And when you're feeling those things yourself, you're much more likely to even take action on your own life and propel yourself forward in a positive way. And even like attract these things that you're celebrating from this other person. And I don't know about you, but I think that's helpful. And I like doing things that are helpful. So that's the first thing that I want to encourage you with. The second thing is to be sure that you are intentionally living in reality and not assuming things of other people or other situations or other things like that. And it's hard to do because we all know we're only seeing other people's like highlight reels, right? We're only seeing what they want us to see. So sometimes it's hard to not assume what they, what they might have done to get there, what they might be going through, whatever. Um, but so when, when those thoughts and beliefs and jealousy that you're having, when, um, what I know is a lot of times they, they aren't even real. They aren't even founded in truth. A lot of times we kind of make those things up and typically they have to do with things that we're already a little insecure about, right? So I need to tell you, you have got to live in reality. When you see things, um, as they are without adding your own stories into them, then you're going to be a lot less likely to be jealous. And if that means you have to ask a couple questions, go ahead and ask. Um, I remember this one time I was feeling super jealous about something with somebody and um, something that they had, they had gotten. I want to say it was even like a super materialistic, you know, kind of thing. And um, I ended up realizing later that they had gone into like a lot of debt to get this thing that I was like coveting. Right. And, I just felt awful about it because I didn't even want that for them. I, I wouldn't want that for me. So it really helped me even kind of change my perspective um, about the whole situation, not just assuming that they just were so successful they were able to get this. They actually went into a, a ton of debt to get it. And that doesn't feel good anyway. So um, when you can actually see the possibility even of the reality of the situation, You'll, you'll find that you're not, that it's less likely you're even going to be jealous of what's going on. Okay. So now the next one, we are going to be talking about developing an optimistic attitude. And that might not come natural for you. And that's okay. It doesn't for a lot of people. But I even read some research that said that optimism can be beneficial to you regardless of like your health, regardless of where you live, regardless of your income, any of these things. Um, optimism can absolutely be beneficial to you no matter who you are. So friends, please, it's time. Let's intentionally start seeing the world that we live in as a place of abundance, not a place where, where we're just lacking, okay? Stay grounded in your reality, but don't be pessimistic about what's happening or what could possibly happen. If you really want to overcome jealousy, you want to be positive, confident, and happy. And the truth is that when you're feeling those things, you're not even capable of focusing on jealousy or what you're lacking in your life. You're content. You feel good about it. You're optimistic even about what could come. Okay. All right. The next thing that we're going to talk about is um, to, to really be focused on being the best you, not focusing on being better than other people. Cause that even is just hard for me to say, like it feels icky, right? But I think we all get caught up in that sometimes. So the more that you're craving to be the best version of you that you can possibly be, you have no room for jealousy guys, because when you put the focus on you and not other people, you're going to strive to be your own personal best. OK, not other people's own personal best, but your very own. And, and when you do that, you end up setting realistic goals for yourself that you're actually going to attain and then feel good and want to keep that momentum going. 
you're going to celebrate all the big and little accomplishment, accomplishments that happen in your life. But what I know is that when your focus is on other people and, um, and what they're becoming, what they have, you're going to set unrealistic goals for yourself. And then you're going to feel awful because you're not going to be attaining them. And then you feel like you're stuck in this cycle and it's no fun at all. It is not helpful. Okay. Remember, we want to be doing things that are helpful, guys. Okay. So I want you to pay attention to what you want and where you're going and understand that other people are doing the exact same thing. If we all just stay focused on what we're doing ourselves and not what other people are doing, um, we're going to be celebrating really who we are and we don't have time for jealousy because we're going to be busy doing our own thing, right? So I need you to hear me. You are a very unique person who is taking a very unique path in life. So please, friend, please keep striving to move on your path, okay, and be the best that you can possibly be. Let's stay focused on really what we, what we have control over and what, what we have um, influence on, right? We don't have that on other people, guys. This is not there. Okay. And the last tip that I want to share with you guys about overcoming jealousy is really understanding at your core that jealousy is super counterproductive to actually getting what you really want. Okay. So what I know is that, um, it is so counterproductive. And so why even waste our time on that? Why waste our energy on that? Why keep putting us in this space where we're just going to be miserable, right? Not helpful. So, um, for example of what I'm talking about. So like if you're, you know, if you're jealous of something, let's say your neighbor has or a friend you saw on social media or whatever, um, it doesn't make you any better. It doesn't make you any better in your own eyes. What it does is it keeps you stuck in the state of anger or hurt. And, and instead of going out and making things better for yourself or making things, you know, making yourself happier, you're going to just sit around and stew over their success. Um, but if you're happy for them, if you're happy for whatever they have, you can actually um, spend some time getting to know them and learn how they got these things. Learn what steps they took um, to do this in a healthy, positive way, maybe, and start working towards getting these same things for yourself, whether it's a certain goal that you have, whether, um, whether it's um, something internally for you, maybe you see something internally in them that you want to have yourself. Um, so that can really help you push your success to the next level by just really even being a student of, of what's happening with this person that you originally began being jealous of. Oh, friends, we just got through a lot in a very short amount of time. Thank you for sticking with me. I really hope that that was helpful to you. And honestly, as you go throughout your week this week, I'd really love to hear about how these tips help you when you notice these these feelings of jealousy start coming to the surface um, whether you're walking out your own life in real life or maybe even when you're stopping your school scroll okay um i will have a worksheet on the blog later today that's going to help you with this so be on the lookout for that and i'll go ahead and add that link into this video when it's appropriate um but I really hope that this was helpful for you because I cannot stress enough how it is just not worth it for us to be wasting our time and keeping our own selves stuck with things that just don't matter. All they do is hurt everyone, including ourselves. So I have some good news for all of you. Now that we're done talking about jealousy, um, next Monday, I really do hope that you will meet me right back here, same time, same place, um, for Mondays with Meg. I, um, I was able to work a miracle and my, um, my very best friend, Amy Koontz is going to be on here live with us and she and I are going to be talking more about friendship stuff that you guys set in, questions that you set in, that you have about um, friendships as adults. So please tune in. I'm going to be posting the link um, for the Facebook event for this. And in there, if you have any other questions for us, 
please ask them ahead of time. We would love to answer as many as we can. In fact, I think we're even going to make it be a longer um, episode of Mondays with Meg than normal, just so we can answer as many questions as you possibly have. So friends, thank you for starting your Monday morning with me. I hope you have a fabulous day, a fabulous week. Reach out to me during the week. Let me know how you're doing with jealousy. If you're able to start using some of these tips to really get a handle on it, guys. And know that I just appreciate you so much. I love you. Have a fantastic week. And we'll talk again next Monday. Okay. Bye-bye.